Hi, I'm Ming. Today we got a topic it's called climate change. And today I'll introduce you how to prevent climate change. But first, what is climate change? Every moment there's a huge amount of energy launched on our planet. Some of them reflect, some of them go into our planet, heat up, and eventually they go out. But then something change. We release oh we release so many greenhouse gases, making trapping the heat inside and slowly making the earth heat up. RCP is the amount of energy that is trapped inside the atmosphere. RCP-8 to 5 refers to the concentration of carbon that delivers global warming and an average of 8 to 5 watts per square meter across the planet. RCP-8 to 5 will happen when there's a large scale of using coal. RCP-6.0 will take place when some of them still use renewable energy. RCP 4.5 will be reached when there's a lot of use of renewable energy. And finally, we can hit RCP 2.6 when uh, there's a lot of carbon capture technology. The RCP 8.5 pathway provides a temperature increase about 2.5 degrees Celsius by 2050. But why 2.5 degrees Celsius is such a big deal? Because warming up our planet by 2.5 degrees Celsius takes a lot of heat. All this extra heat melts glaciers, increasing sea levels, making the weather extreme, and increasing the ferocity of storms. To prevent that, we have to achieve net zero. But what is net zero? Every time we release a molecule of greenhouse gases, we take back a molecule of them, making our net emissions zero. But to cut down every source of greenhouse gases on every country is a big challenge. Planting trees will help, but trees alone can help us to achieve net zero. For trees alone to help us achieve net zero, we will need every person to plant 730 trees. It's almost impossible. In the near term, the way to reduce climate change risk is by reducing methane. Methane takes 1% of greenhouse gases and carbon dioxide takes 99% of them. It seems unharmful, but actually that 1% of methane is actually more harmful than that 99% of carbon dioxide. So how can we reduce the methane we produce quickly? Most of methane gas isn't from burning fossil fuels, it's from producing fossil fuels because natural gases like methane can easily escape through the atmosphere when transporting them through pipelines. This leak completely offsets any near-term climate benefits of using gas instead of coal. We can fix this problem easily by just fixing the whole some pipelines because the safe gas can be sold so it can pay for themselves. Cutting, reducing methane is a solution in the near term. And cutting di carbon dioxide is a solution in the long term. And we have to do both. In the future, the way to achieve net zero is by using renewable energy, such as solar, wind, and nuclear. But why are people not using it much? Because it costs so much money. We have to develop new technologies that can help us to prevent climate change without pe people paying for that extra premium cost. Example, cement is by uh, mixing limestone with iron and clay and they melt it at a temperature of 1,500 degrees Celsius, which emits carbon dioxide. But the green cement, they trap it, they put it in the drying chamber, which when they dries up, it traps carbon dioxide, making it even even stronger and cheaper than the original cement. In conclusion, we have to develop new technologies that can help us to prevent climate change. But however, we also have to consider the cost of the product. Campaigns are ineffective and impractical now. Instead, we have to use that money to invest in scientists and green companies to give them the motivation to develop new technologies that can help us to prevent climate change. I hope this is a practical way to save our Earth from climate change. Thank you for listening.